All right, how's it going everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest sleeping artist. So I'm going to be doing a painting. I just finished this one. I painted earlier. Um, I did this painting on, where was it? It was on Instagram. So I'm going to do another one for you guys here. Let's see what they look like. Let's see what happens with them. Hopefully something really cool. So I'm gonna use the same format to get started. Here we go. All right, very cool. Let's do this. So I'm going to start out very simple by just a simple horizon line right here using black paint. Look at that. It's very simple. Nothing too complicated. Just kind of allowing things to happen on their own. Um, a lot of this paint, this uh, artwork is very uh, suggestive. I'm not trying to, to mimic or or create any form of realism or hyper realism and it happens on its own if there is some realism in there it happened on its own most of the stuff I'm just trying to suggest there's something going on it might be a landscape and, and uh, something is happening we're not quite sure because we're not putting all of our efforts on representational on the representational aspect the efforts are more on the expressive aspect of the work Something like that. And so I'm going to start out with my palette knife and I'm going to work into those little mountains back there in the distance. I'm going to do it with a little bit of magenta and blue, making a, a bit of a purple, but not, not quite a, a little soft purple. I'm going to tint it with white. So. You can see right here, look, what's happening. Now again, I'm walking you through a little bit of what I'm doing. Most of the time, I don't know. Uh, I, I go into this mode of, I don't know what I'm painting or how I'm going to paint it. And it helps me stay very, uh, very present in what I'm doing, very fresh. It, it does all kinds of good things with my artwork when I do that. And I just don't put any conditions or limitations on the artwork. The artwork seems to make itself happen without me uh, putting so many conditions in there. Oftentimes as artists we, we limit ourselves um, by putting all these parameters around. The, the painting needs to look this way or it needs to be that. I try not to think of that. As, as, as the less I think about that, the more I feel like the artwork comes out more, more, more pure. It also allows for your own imagination to fly freely. You're not so uh, stuck on the, on something or your reference image or whatever you're looking at. Um, the imagination starts running wild, really nice. And so that helps me because it allows me to be more creative. Your imagination's running wild when you're painting uh, around around whatever you're painting. It allows you to be more creative, a lot more creative than, than, than what you could have been if all you're doing is, is thinking about the subject matter only. So there's a little, there's a little pro tip.
going to mix some grays here with my purple. And the reason for that is because I, I want to tone this down with some rain. When I mean tone it down, I'm not talking about adding white to it necessarily, like a, a tint or... I'm, I'm just trying to tone it down uh, from the vibrancy of the color. A lot of vibrant colors, a lot of pastels happening in the painting. I'm going to go into that sky and again keeping that momentum with very light gray almost white it might be a it's very very light gray The key of a painting is to enjoy it. Uh, if there's no joy in what you're doing, um, something is happening. It's very important to enjoy the work. And there's really only one way to enjoy it. It's to fully, fully, fully do it. Don't do it. Don't do it hoping you're getting something or something's going to happen, something good, or you're not doing a good job. Or, no. You got to accept anything that you're doing to the painting, you got to fully accept it. And so when you do that, you're able to enjoy the painting. There it is. Very simple like that. I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to go in there with white and a little bit of yellow. And just to kind of get this uh, expressiveness.
There we go. So there it is, my friends. That's the screaming is my son playing Minecraft or I don't know what game he's playing. The thing where they die and whatnot. I must say that because people have asked me what's the screaming in the background. Quarantine baby, I got my kids with me. I got my kid with me. Not kids, but my kid with me. In uh, in my studio. And where, wherever I take my kid. I take the screens too. All right, my friends. Have a good one. Let me show you what the front view of this looks like. Look at that. Hope you enjoy this. Take care.